Hello everyone, welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. So today we're continuing the summer planting. This is kind of the last planting that we're gonna do for the summer, I think. We have a final batch of tomatoes going in as well as the peppers and the aubergines because I can see on my weather app that the nights are not gonna be as cold anymore. It's like 15 degrees uh, most nights. Last year I noticed that they don't really grow before that point. So I kept them in the... So I kept them in the greenhouse until then. Got my little helper. Even though it's warm, she want to wear a hat. So here we are. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the peppers and the aubergines today. Yeah, how a planta. That's lunch right there. Gardening with two small children can be a challenge, as some of you know. Yesterday, Bo didn't want to be put, uh, lay down, put down. <laughs> Yesterday, Bo didn't want to lay down in his pram or in his bed. And my shoulders were protesting all the carrying. So I had to stop and only put in about half of what I wanted to put in. So we continue today. It's starting to get quite warm here. Um, most days are above 25 now uh, in the upcoming week. So we're trying to get into the rhythm of getting up early and then working until lunchtime. And then after that we have a siesta. It's already quite late. <laughs> we still have to get used to it. Um, so yeah, let's go. Some more peppers. Some more aubergines. And there we're doing some more tomatoes. Someone woke up again <laughs> and he's hungry. And what? Look on that now. Look at the dynamite. He's getting junky. We love it. So I thought I'd mention that this mix, uh, most of these flowers are from a flower mix by Cementes Vivas. This is not sponsored, although we'll visit. Kirk wants to show you the peas. Anyhow, we'll visit them sometime this summer. Um, and this is a great option if you want to attract pollinators. Uh, you can see lots of wildlife here. There's a little ladybug and a bee. 
So the bees go actually completely yeah. mental for these purple flowers. And the butterflies love these white ones. So if you're still looking to plant some wildflowers for summer, I would highly recommend this mix. One of the last digger jobs this season is making the road better. So Martin has been working on the road with the digger, making it more flat so that we can drive on it more easily and drive up to the yard. And with that comes that we also have to make a channel under the under the road so that water can flow those two two times a year that we have so much water on the land. So we use the big rocks that we found for the French drain in the field and we he repurposed them for this job.
Uh, we are back at the hole. Um, as you can see, it's not as full as it used to be. Uh, this is because the, the ground is still settling and uh, so it's starting to drain down. Um, there was also still a hole in the bank um, that needed to settle. Uh, it just didn't have the time before it settled, filled up uh, to do that. Uh, now in the summer there's no point in trying to rush things again. Um, we'll probably go back with the digger to, uh, to, to uh, fix up some things that were left behind and uh, maybe dig out it, uh, dig it out a little bit more um, just because now we do have the time and then uh, come autumn when it starts to rain again uh, we hopefully have uh, more rain that it can settle and come back up and down for a few times and then next year we'll have this pond to uh, get water from uh, which was already a plan it will take two three years to get a pond really going and if that doesn't work we might add some plastic but that's in the future so this is part of the channel that we dug out or martin dug out and used the rocks from the old school french drain to build a new channel culvert culvert Oh, well, he'll hold her. Oh, he'll hold her. All right, uh, this is the, the second uh, pond. I dug this in two days. Um, this is the spot where we found the water coming out of the mountain next to the willow. And uh, it's holding water. There's still water flowing out from the place where it comes out of the mountain. Um, uh, we may have to uh, deepen that channel a little bit to uh, get more flow into the pond. And there are still spots where it seeps out, which is to be expected when you turn up soil, you dig it out. So any type of compaction that was there needs to be, uh, or is undone and needs to be resettled. Uh, so this will also take a year or two before it fills up. But we might uh, do a different uh, strategy here and add liner here in, from the get-go because we might want to use this more as a swimming hole than as a, uh, a water uh, source. So um, that's why it may get a different treatment, but we are still undecided. This morning we've come to the river that's close to our land uh, and we're gonna forage for some nettles so that we can make some nettle tea for the garden as well as look for the last of the elderflower flowers, elderberry flowers. <laughs> so that we can attempt to make some cordial from them. There's not much left, we're like a week late, um, but we'll see what we can get. That is already enough for the for tea. Yeah. Ik wil alleen even mijn handschoenen aanhouden. Ja. Net al. Ja.
Ja, mooie bloemen. Opbouwen. Hier is het leertje. Ga bovenaan. Ja, loop maar door. Martin was streaming while I was doing this, so here is some music for you to enjoy.